हेलो एवरी वन माई सर स्वाति सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन कंप्यूटर साइंस डिपार्टमेंट एट आई एम एस इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट सम कॉमनली आज क्वेश्चन इन गेट नेट एंड अदर कम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो दिस इज द एजेंडा ऑफ माई प्रेजेंटेशन आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग सम गेट क्वेश्चन ऑन लॉजिक गेट मेन टर्म मैक्स टर्म स्टैंडर्ड सॉप एंड कैनोनिकल सॉप स्टैंडर्ड पॉज एंड कैनोनिकल पॉज की मैप लैचेज एंड फ्लिप फ्लॉप नाउ मूविंग टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एक्सप्रेशन डज नॉट रिप्रेजेंट एक्सक्लूसिव नॉर सो दिस इज द एक्सनॉर दिस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ एक्सनॉर एंड फॉर दिस फर्स्ट चॉइस यू दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज श्योरली एक्सनॉर बिकॉज इट इज एक्स वाई प्लस एक्स बार वाई Now moving to the second function, it is x xor y bar. So what is xor? Xor is x bar y plus y bar x, right? So put the value of y as y bar. It becomes x bar y bar plus y bar bar x. Then it becomes x bar y bar plus x y so this is surely a x nor so second is also a x nor then moving to the third option this one let me raise it so for third option it is x bar xor y x bar xor y and xor is x bar y plus y bar x now put x bar as in this so it becomes x or is equal to x bar bar y plus y bar x bar so it becomes x y plus x bar y bar so third option is also true it is also x nor but in the second the fourth option let me raise it in the fourth option what is fourth x bar xor y bar so what is xor xor is xor is x bar y plus y bar x and put the value of x is x bar and y is y bar so it becomes xor is equal to what x bar bar y bar plus y bar bar x bar so it is x y bar plus y x bar so it is xor rather than x nor so the option correct option is 4 right moving to the next question what is the minimal form of the k map shown below assume that this x is don't care so this is the don't care and don't care are basically used to maximize the simplification so in this case let's group one group is this and one group will be this of four ones right so for this one for this group of four g1 let this is g1 what will be the common term from this side the common term is c bar and from this side the common term is what from column side the column term is what b bar so this is c bar b bar and for this g2 corner sides one four corner ones this one this one this one and this one what will be the value c from this side from row side what will what is the final common term it is d bar and from this side what is the common term the common term is b bar so your answer is what c bar b bar plus b bar d bar so correct option is second so the answer is 2 now moving to the third question which one of the following circuit is not equivalent to xnor not equivalent to exclusive nor 
and you know x naught is a bar b bar plus a b. So, let us take first option let I am taking that it is a input it is b it is a b a b and here I am taking a and b. So, for first gate what will be the output see this is x naught. So, the output would be what a bar b bar plus a b right. For the second case this is a bar and this is b bar and you are using x naught again. So, what it result in like this is a bar xor b bar you can say that this is a bar xor b bar. Moving to the third part what it will give you a bar this is b. So, this is a bar xor b right and the fourth one what is this? This will give you a and b bar and then a b bar whole bar and this will give you what b bar a and at this point this is a b bar whole bar and b bar a whole bar because it is a negation. Now, the second term is a bar xor b bar right. So, open it remember that xor is a xor b is equal to a xor a xor b plus b bar a. So, in this term what will be the output a bar b bar b bar plus b double bar a bar. So, it will result in a b bar plus a bar b right and I am negating it because it is the not gate I am also negating it. So, it is equal to x nor right for the third part it is a bar xor b. So, what will be the outcome for this it becomes a bar bar b plus b bar a bar. So, it becomes a b plus b bar a. So, surely it is x nor. So, the last leftover option is d. So, d is true. Now, moving to the next question the simplified soft form of the boolean expression this. So, this term is in this is a max term or you can say that this is represented in pause product of some form. So, first this product of some form is converted into sum of product form and then I will draw the k map and then find out the final outcome. So, for this p plus q bar r bar your binary representation is 0 1 1 because in the case of pause 0 is represented as uncomplemented form right. Uh, similarly, p plus q bar r is represented as 0 1 0 and p plus q plus r bar is represented as 0 1 1. So, this is the decimal representation for 3, for 2 and for 1. So, what will be the outcome? So, pause is pause is represented as pi. So, pi of max term is 1, 2, comma 3. So, now this is converted into a soft form. How you will convert it? Just put the summation small m for min terms and the absent terms are there in the min terms. In the previous slides I have easily told you how you can convert a pause into a swap right. So, the missing terms are 0 then 4 then 5 then 6 and then 7. How many inputs are there? The inputs are 3. So, let us draw the k map. So, this is p and this is q r right. 
So place the value 0, 4, 5, 6, 7 in the K-map, 0, 4, 5, 6 and 7 in the K-map. So there are two groups, this one and this one and you have to find out the expression for these two groups. So for this group, what will be the expression? The expression is what? Q bar, R bar because this represent Q bar, R bar, 0, 0 and for this what will be the expression? it represent what? It represent p. So, the final outcome is p plus q bar r bar. Just check the answer p plus q bar r bar. So, answer is 2. Correct? Now, moving to the next question, the mean term expression of p q r is equal to p q plus q r plus p r bar is so, you have to find out from this boolean expression, you have to find out the main term. So, मैंने क्या किया? मैंने ये जो boolean expression है, उसको k-map की form में represent किया और then main terms find out किया. So, see, p, q. So, in this, there is the input p, q, r. So, in this k-map, where is p? p is here, right? Because p is equal to 1, p represent 1 and where is q? Q should be also 1. So, where is Q 1? Q is 1 for this and for this, right. So, if I am putting 1 and 1 here, it will give you P Q, right. For the second term Q R bar. So, Q R bar, where is the Q R bar? Q R bar is represented in the column. So, where is Q R bar? Q R bar represent what? Represent this. So, this is the main term and the last one p r bar. So, where is p r bar? p represent in this row and r bar is where? r bar is here and here. So, I am giving one here also. So, the total main terms are m 2, m 4, m 6 and m 7. The correct answer is 1. Now, Moving to the next question, what is the minimum number of gates required to implement the Boolean function a b plus c? So, you have to find out the minimum number of gates, right? And we have to implement it using NOR gate only. In previous slide, I have already told you how you can use the NOR gate to implement a Boolean expression, how you can use a NAND gate to implement a Boolean expression. As if now, a b plus c, there is a hint like a b plus c by the boolean laws, I can write it as a plus c and b plus c. Now, do the double inversion of on this term, then it will become a plus c whole bar plus b plus c bar whole bar. Now, what is this? This is one NOR gate and this is also one NOR gate and then this is also a one NOR gate. So, how much NOR gate are used? Total NOR gates are 3. So, the correct answer is B. Moving to the next question. In the K map shown below, X denotes a do not care. So, X is used as a do not care. What is the minimal form of the function represent by Carnot map? So, just group the pairs or you can group the octet or you can group the uh, uh, quad. So, in this case, one group is this, right, of quad and the corner one also create a quad, right. So, let us suppose this group is G1 and this group is G2. So, what will be the expression for G 1? Just find out. G 1 is, aap ye aur ye dekh rahe hai. To aapke paas ye hai aur ye hai. Ab in mein se common kya hai, aap bataiye. Common yaha se aapko kya mil raha hai? 0. To D bar, right. Aur yaha aur yaha se aapko common kya mil raha hai, bataiye. Idhar aur idhar agar aap use kar raha hai, to aapke paas common kya hai? Ye common hai. Kya common hai, bataiye. Idhar E common hai. तो ये हो गया a bar क्योंकि zero है। अब 
ये जो चार वन है इनका क्या होगा ये G2, G2 टू एक्सप्रेशन कैलकुलेट कीजिए सो so, यहाँ से और यहाँ से अगेन आपको क्या कॉमन मिल रहा है बताइए D बार और यहाँ से और यहाँ से आपको क्या कॉमन मिला D बार मिला अब आप देखिए कि यहाँ से और यहाँ से आपको क्या कॉमन मिल रहा है बताइए क्या मिल रहा है B बार देखिए सो द फाइनल आउटकम इज D बार A बार प्लस D बार B. सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज D बार A बार प्लस D बार B बार ना मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन गिवन अ फंक्शन एफ वन एफ थ्री एंड एफ इन अ कैनोनिकल सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म फॉर द सर्किट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड मैनी टाइम इट इज आस्ड इन गेट सो आपके पास यहाँ क्या हो रहा है क्वेश्चन में आपके पास एक लॉजिक सर्किट दिया हुआ है और आपके पास F1, F3, F गिवन है और आपको F2 टू फाइंड आउट करना है सो so, अगर मैं ये लॉजिक सर्किट देखूँ तो यहाँ पे ये कौन सा गेट है एंड गेट और ये कौन सा गेट है और गेट सो so, इस एंड गेट से आपको क्या एक्सप्रेशन मिलेगी बताइए F1 वन डॉट एफ और ये और गेट वाला जो गेट है ये आपको क्या देगा एफ वन डॉट एफ टू प्लस एफ थ्री ये देगा सो द फंक्शन एफ इज इक्वल टू एफ वन डॉट एफ टू प्लस एफ थ्री नाउ दिस इज वन एंड गेट एंड दिस इज वन और गेट सो द हिंट इन द क्वेश्चन इज दैट The end of two expression will contain the common term. So if I am taking the end of f1 and f2, it will contain the common terms, right? So what is f1? F1 is four, five, six, seven, eight. It is end with. It is end with f2. F2 is let's suppose x plus what is f3? F3 थ्री इज वन सिक्स फिफ्टीन और जो आपका फाइनल फंक्शन है एफ वो क्या है वन सिक्स एट फिफ्टीन ठीक है अब आप देखिए आपको एफ थ्री से क्या क्या मिल रहा है आपको एफ थ्री से लेट मी चूज अनदर इंक आपको एफ थ्री से वन मिल रहा है सिक्स मिल रहा है फिफ्टीन मिल रहा है ये एफ थ्री है ठीक है ये F1 है ये F2 है अब आपके पास एट नहीं है और आप ये कह रहे हैं कि अगर मैं दो टर्म्स को एंड करती हूँ तो मुझे कॉमन टर्म मिलती है सो कॉमन टर्म के लिए मैं यहाँ पे क्या करूँ यहाँ से क्या कॉमन हो सकता है तो एट तो होना ही चाहिए यानी x में एक एट तो होगा ही ठीक है अब यहाँ ऑप्शन देखिए ये तीन ऑप्शन हैं जिनमें एट तो है अब आप दूसरा ऑप्शन क्या हो सकता है दूसरी कॉमन टर्म क्या ले सकते हैं आप सिक्स ले सकते हैं तो सिक्स और ये एट इन दोनों में हो जाएगा सो so, एक्स के अंदर अगर सिक्स और एट है तो कॉमन आपको सिक्स एट मिलेगा प्लस वन सिक्स फिफ्टीन करोगे तो फाइनल आउटकम क्या हो जाएगा वन सिक्स फिफ्टीन एट सो द आंसर इज वॉट द आंसर इज सिक्स एंड एट द आंसर इज सी Now, moving to the next question. Consider the following main term expression. There is a main term which is given, and two, seven, eight, and thirteen are the don't cares. You have to find out the minimal sum of product. So, for to find out the minimal sum of product, you have to draw a K map. So, K K map is there. One group of quad is this, and one group is this, and you have to find out the expression for these two groups. so for group g1 what will be the expression c what is common the common is q and from here what is common the common is s and for g2 what will be the outcome c from these two values what is common the common is q bar and from these two what will be the common the common is s bar so the outcome is q s plus q bar s bar so the correct answer will be this one answer 2 you can write it as answer 2 q 
q bar s bar plus q s now moving to the next question it is similar to the question which i have explained earlier in uh, in the slide this is the logic circuit diagram there are three functions f1 f2 and f3 and a main function f which is a output and you have to find out what you have to find out the value of this f3 what will be the expression for this f1 f2 whole bar because this is the nand gate right this is not gate and what will be this it is also a nand gate so the expression for this nand gate is f1 dot f2 whole bar and this is f3 bar now what is f f is f1 f2 bar dot f3 bar and then because it is nand whole bar right so open this bar so how you can open this bar break the bar and change the sign so it will become f1 f2 double bar plus f3 double bar so it will becomes f1 f2 right plus f3 i think it is clear now what is f1 f1 is 0 1 3 and what is f2 6 7 and what is f3 f3 is let suppose i have to calculate the value of f3 so i am assuming it as x right so ab ye dono terms kya hai and hai to aap in dono terms mein and mein maine abhi aapko bataya कि एंड अगर दो एक्सप्रेशन का आप एंड करते हो तो वो आपको कॉमन टर्म देती हैं अब आप यहाँ देखिए यहाँ कोई कॉमन टर्म है नहीं है सो कॉमन टर्म नहीं है तो क्या होगा आउटपुट f1 f2 का बोलो जीरो होगा सो so ये हो जाएगा जीरो प्लस x इज इक्वल टू f एंड व्हाट इज f हियर f इज वन फोर फाइव सो व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ x हेयर x is equal to f which is 1 4 5 the correct answer is what the correct answer is a 1 4 5 i think it is clear now moving to the last question very simple question evaluate x xor y xor y so you can evaluate it by drawing the truth table i am already draw the two table Th these are the two input x and y first i am calculating this x xor y right and after this i am xoring this with xor y so x xor y if i am taking this what will be the outcome x xor y will give you 0 and 0 xor 1 will give you 1 because you know that in the case of xor agar mere dono input same hote hain तो मुझे आउटपुट जीरो मिलता है अदरवाइज वन लीड होता है एंड देन अगेन आप अगर इसको एग्जॉर करोगे इन दो टर्म्स को तो आपको आउटकम ये लीड होगा ठीक है तो आपका क्या आंसर आया इसका आंसर क्या होगा बोलिए आंसर वुड बी व्हाट आंसर वुड बी इन द टर्म ऑफ एक्स वाई एक्स सी दीज टू टर्म्स दे आर इक्वेलेंट हेयर एक्स इज जीरो The outcome is zero. Here x is zero. Outcome is again zero. When x is one, outcome is again one. So the answer is C. That is x. I think it is clear. Now these are the references, and thank you very much for patiently listening. You can, if you have any query or doubt, you can contact me at swati dot singh at the rate imscc dot ac dot in. Mm -hmm.